Day number two of college football, 25 ultimate team, and we have yet another glitch. There's a brand new promo that's live. We're going to talk about everything. Let's get it. everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another college football 25 ultimate team video in today's video we're going to be going over the brand new conference stories of the week promo and we're going to start with a pack glitch that might be going on by the time you're watching this video maybe it isn't but if you take a look into the store there is a conference stories booster pack that costs 250 points which is basically the equivalent to two dollars and fifty cents and I saw people talking about it on Twitter. The pack is broken. It's giving out cards. It probably shouldn't. And I went ahead and opened it up. And here are the results. We got the 89 overall season one Will Johnson. We got an 88 overall Abdul Carter. And then my guy Stevie Bracey is just here along for the ride. I, this is not supposed to happen. Now, I'm also hearing that the other packs in relation to this promo are broken as well. So let's go ahead and spend the 750 points and we'll do the conference stories pack. I think what's happening is the cards. Yeah, we're getting another season one card here. The cards that are supposed to be part of the brand new promo in these packs instead are rewarding season one cards. So we got another 88 overall Abdul Carter here. I don't know how many that was limited to. It's actually unlimited. So I'm going to open it up with coins and we'll again see what happens here. But I think that we're going to get yet another season one card i'll just breeze through the animation all right now we actually got a stories of the week card and greg rubin i'll try one more for the 750 points i don't know if it's guaranteed or just that fast maybe they fixed it up let's go ahead and see here all right i think the pack is now fixed ea is now two for two we've had this game for two days and we've had back-to-back -back days with glitches both of them were good glitches. Uh, the other one that took place yesterday was revolved around playing solo battles, and solo battles is not even in the game now, so they literally just took it away. But if you tried to play it, you were probably getting a message that said it was down for server maintenance. The same thing was actually happening with solo seasons. Let's see if it continues to happen. Yeah, you're still getting server maintenance. So if you've been trying to play either of those game modes and they're either missing or giving you this message, you're not alone. Yesterday, there was a big glitch that if you played solo battles on any difficulty, basically the XP that you were getting for solo battles was applying towards your season one field pass. So there's people out there that are at like level 25, 30 in the season one field pass. So that was yesterday's glitch. We just showed you today's pack glitch, but let's go ahead and talk about the brand new promo. So hopefully you all received a stories of the week welcome pack. And this kind of feels like it's going to be their version of team of the week. And is the welcome pack broken as well? Okay, it's not. It was giving me that season one animation. Um, so I'm guessing everybody is going to get this 80 overall Nick Scororton. I'm terrible at names in a lot of situations, especially for players that I don't know who they are. And I apologize to this guy, but I don't know you. So it looks like I'm assuming everybody's going to get this 80 overall card in the welcome pack that you can throw on your cut 25 squad right away. Now there's also going to be solo challenges and the main reason why I believe this is going to work similar to Team of the Week and Madden Ultimate Team is because if you go into the solos, we have the first sequence that features the American Conference and then the Big 12. It highlights those two conferences. You get a little bit of an overview there. And if you look at the available solos to play, you got 30 stars. So you got a bunch of stuff that you can do right now if you want to. And if you look at the milestone rewards, they're not amazing. Tier 1 and Tier 2 give you a whopping total of 2,500 coins, but the third tier reward gives you a token, and if you've played Ultimate Team before, normally collecting tokens ultimately leads to a free card. So it feels, and this is all a guess, but it feels like maybe every Tuesday we're going to see these Stories of the Week promo update with two or maybe three or maybe one conference is highlighted via solos. Maybe we get a welcome pack every week as well with a lower overall card. We get some new cards and sets. We'll show you the cards and sets. Obviously, we're going to get packs, but hopefully this token means that we'll get new solos where we can collect tokens throughout the year, and eventually when this all comes to an end, we'll be able to trade those tokens in for something free. Also, if you go into your season one field pass, a couple things to note. Number one, it feels like the daily objectives 
update somewhere around 8 to 9 a.m. Eastern time, uh, a lot earlier than they normally do in Mutt, which is about 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. So check for those every day because if you don't complete your set of daily objectives, they go away, they're gone forever. You don't want to miss out on that XP. No idea when the Season 1 section is going to update, but with this Conference Stories promo drop today, there is a brand new objective that will allow you to earn XP within the Season 1 Field Pass, recording tackles with two Conference Stories players in your lineup. I'm actually not a fan of this one for one reason, because you do get the one free player that you can put in your lineup, but if you actually want to knock out these objectives, you have to go out and buy another card, and I think that's kind of dumb. They should have just made it record team tackles with one player in your lineup. Now, there will be a bunch of lower overall cards in this promo, so they might not be overly expensive, but I'm still not a fan of needing to spend coins to complete objectives for a promo. We will show you the cards that are in this promo. There's a few upgrade sets, so you you have basically 81 overalls, 82s, 83s, and then the 85 overall champions. You can see the various requirements within these sets. You need to put two 80 overall story of the week players and then one 78 overall, you know, core elite card or core card. In return, you're going to get an 81 overall fantasy pack to let you pick any one of the available 81. So this would be the set, the cheapest set that you would want to go out and complete to get yourself a second player. Or, of course, you can go out on the auction house and buy the cards. Um, the 85 overall champions, their set requirements are going to be the following four 83 overall story of the week players. You put those into the set. In return, you're going to get the 85 overall champion. And who are these players? Well, I'm glad you asked. So there was a reveal stream a couple nights ago. That's where EA revealed all of these cards. And we do have an LTD. So this is probably going to be one of the more expensive cards in the game. I hate the card art on this card specifically. It just looks really, really goofy. But it's Ali Gordon the second here. 85 speed running back, 86 agility, 83 trucking, 84 break tackle. 85 change of direction. I haven't really messed with abilities on cards, but he's one of the first cards uh, so far that we've seen have three different ability buckets. We'll talk more about abilities as we discover which ones work and which ones don't, which ones are not worth it. I mean, I played like three cut games last night. I haven't put a single ability on any of the players on my team. So they're important, but this early on, not a big deal. The two champion cards, I thought maybe there were going to be three. I thought they revealed three. I guess not. We got Cameron Rising and we got Mr. Jonathan Jefferson, a right end at 85 overall, only 80 speed, 86 power move, 83 block shed, 69 finesse move, really low, decent strength at 83, tackle is going to be 85. He also will get three buckets, so it doesn't look like him being an LTD and Ollie Gordon is the reason why he got the three buckets. Uh, this Jefferson card got three buckets as well. And then we got Cameron Rising, another quarterback here to take a look at. Only 77 speed. I don't think that's incredibly slow. He's absolutely going to be an upgrade over the free Joe Burrow that a lot of people got from their welcome pack. I still think that the free Will Howard from the level 10, and you can get it at level 10, 30, 36, and 40, I think. But the free 84 overall Will Howard that you get free from the Season 1 Field Pass, I use him in the three games that I played last night. He's actually really, really good. Good speed, even only at 81. He moves very well. So I still think that's going to be the best quarterback in the game. This one looks good, though, with the 86 throw power. The short throw accuracy is the weakest of the three, but I also think it's kind of the least important. So those are the higher overall cards. There is a program filter for conference stories, so you can see the handful of 83 overalls. There's a bunch of 81s, and that's going to be the new content for the day. Unsure if it's going to come out every Tuesday or if today was just an exception because, you know, the game technically came out uh, today, officially the pre-order today. And of course, we have worldwide launch on Friday. We kind of already showed you the pack offers. I don't think this promo is worth spending much money on. It's definitely not worth spending your coins. So please stay away. The only reason that I opened this up at the beginning of the video is because at that moment, the pack was glitched. And the first time around, it obviously benefited us. The second and third time, you saw the results, right? We got an 80 overall that's not going to be worth $7 if you're spending your money. It's not going to be worth 43 k Will some people get lucky with this pack? Absolutely, but it's so early in the year. Cards are only going to get better. I would not go out and waste my coins or my money 
on this promo. There's a couple good cards. It's good to get content, but overall, you should be stacking your coins. I know there's not many game modes you can play other than online head-to-head -head stuff right now, but you really should be stacking your coins and waiting for more promos, waiting for better pack offers. But that is today's content. Go knock out your solos. Uh, and that's about it. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.